How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to be doing some maintenance on the RT. Uh, basically I had a misfire in cylinder 5 the other day. Um, that being said I haven't been driving that car much. So I've been driving the Mini around. Um, so I didn't, all the parts, I started ordering parts for the Challenger. This is the last missing piece, my spark plugs. Um, I have everything else at the car already. We're gonna probably pass by um, Home Depot right now and pick up a torque wrench. I've been needing one for a while. Um, so we're gonna stop by. Cool. All right guys, so we just made it to Home Depot. Let's go pick up our torque wrench. All right guys, so unfortunately they didn't have uh, any of the size torque wrench that I needed. So we're actually going to head to Lowe's and then see if they have it. If not, eh, I don't really need a torque wrench anyway. Alright guys, so we actually uh, didn't find anything at Lowe's that we needed. Uh, oh, actually we did get a container from Lowe's just to drain the coolant. Um, but we actually stopped by here at uh, AutoZone to pick up our torque wrench and our oil... Uh, what is that, like an oil pan catcher or whatever? Oil catcher. And then uh, we're using that one right there for coolant. So now we're on our way to the RT. Alright guys, so we have the RT here, um, we're going to be installing the uh, spark plugs tonight and we're going to do the coil pack and then maybe also the water pump, um, if not we'll do that tomorrow. Uh, basically I'm having an issue in cylinder 5 which would be uh, that guy back there, oh it's too bright, that guy right there. So um, we're going to show Luis how to do it. Uh, we should have all the tools here ready to go, so stay tuned. Alright, ladies, we're going to start off by unplugging the coil pack. It's going to be cylinder number five. Can't get it. Okay. All right. Now remove the two uh, bolts. Slides off. Yeah, it should just okay. come straight up. You kind of have to wiggle it. There you go. All right, and then what you want to look be on the lookout for is any moisture. So how does that look? Yeah. You want to pull it out? Okay. Right here. How does it look? It's Can't really white. See. It looks like creamy. Yeah. Right here. Kind of like moisture. Right? Yeah. Just oh, both of them actually. Yeah. Okay. So let's pull that one out and put it on the side. And then what about? Can you see inside of it, Vincent? No, but I need the light, that's why. Oh, it looks like I kind of see the problem already. So it looks like some of the oil seeped in, maybe. Right here. Mm -hmm. And then this is dry? Yeah, so it might have, like, the gasket or whatever failed. And oil got inside, probably. Alright, guys, so we decided that the strut bar is in the way. So we're actually going to remove that real quick. So just go ahead and um, unhook those little quick release, like, little pins. And then it should come right off. Just kind of wiggle it out. And then we just put it on the side somewhere. Cool, so now we have like a lot more room to work with. So we're going to start off by pretty much... Uh, we're probably going to skip this part. But she's just pretty much going to remove the... All the, um, all the coil packs from each side. And that way we can get into the spark plugs. How does that look like, Lily? These are dirty too. Let me see. Right here? Mm, yeah. Right here. 
Yeah, looks like we're having a little bit of moisture going in, huh? It's a, right here, it looks all wet up to here. It's yeah. only that one that might not. Be. Yeah, it's normally when it happens. That's why, I, well, that's why you should always keep like either a spare bottle around or like actually use a funnel. Basically, I always try to air or freaking just try to, you know, um, like guess that I'm gonna. What's it? Pour, pour in the oil the correct way, <laughs> and then it's, it'll seep down, and, and then yeah, and leak. And I'm assuming that's what happened, or that's what's going on. So that's how we're replacing the coil packs. We're gonna make sure everything is dry. Now we're going to go with the removal of the spark plugs. Kind of just have to find them. Yep. Twist it to... Okay, and then push it down. There it is. Go on and grab your ratchet. Yeah, it's a little tough. Oh! <laughs> Can you twist it with your hand? Yeah. Okay, if I were you, yep. Let's put that on the side. It should be out by now. Okay. But I don't feel it. It's there. Oh. Ooh. Is it tough one? Alright, so let's go ahead and do all the other ones. This one's hard. Good try. Okay. <laughs> no, it's on there. Oh! <laughs> you can do it. There you go. So that's all of them for that side. Okay. All right, so basically now we just got to gap the spark plugs. Just double check every single one of them. Um, I was telling Lucas how it works, so pretty much you just take it out of the box. Uh, then she's going to grab the little gap tool. And then we're going to, we have to go at 0 0.044. So we're going to go to our little dial here. Just going to figure out which one it is. Right about there. Light it in there. Should just be nice and like firm there. Right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. So it's done. All right, guys. So we're not gonna bore you guys. We have to do 16 of these, and we're gonna go do them real quick, and then we'll catch up with you guys in a second. So we're putting in the new spark plugs in, and right there. And then Manny is tightening, hand tightening it first. And then he's going to go ahead and um, apply the torque, right? Mm -hmm. Apply the torque. And then he's going to go one half from a circle. And then he's going to go a little, he's going to do one eighth after that to make sure that it's snug. That's pretty much it. Hand time first. And then another reason Manny's doing this is because I'm too scared to do it. I don't want to mess anything up. The other stuff was fairly easy. So we're going to go one. We're going to go half a circle, which is right there. 
and then we're going to take it back and then he's going to do one eighth of that half circle which would be right there how'd that one feel yeah feel good, feel good? All right, guys, so we just finished, obviously, installing the spark plugs. Now we just finished um, cleaning up the coil packs. We're replacing the one that was bad. Um, if I see, like, I did notice, like, some seepage in, but I think it's more of my fault. Um, we went ahead and cleaned everything up, and now it's time to put the coil packs back in. Um, Louis, just go ahead and just put them in there, and then we'll do the nuts after. Okay. So you just kind of have to just exactly take them out. It's not that. No. Maybe the new one right there. That's the reason we're having the misfire. Cool. I did want to get MSD ones, which is why I only bought one for now. But that's going to be a future upgrade later. Is there a reason it doesn't go down all the way? The mm. new one? We'll try. I'll try it over right now. Okay. This one sits, but this one doesn't. Okay. Let's check it out. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and torque these down. They don't really, there's not much to them. We're just gonna put the nuts on and then we're gonna do our first startup. Uh, we're gonna take it for a quick spin. Um, and then hopefully our check engine light of that misfire is gone. And yep, just finished putting in the screws. Now Lulis, all she has to do is um, go ahead and plug them in. So I think we officially got everything in. Um, not much to it, but other than to start it, you know, with the camera. Yeah. Okay. The keys are over here. All right, let's see. guys so everything seems to be everything sounds good over here um, we're just gonna clean up I'm gonna leave the car running uh, then we're gonna take it for a quick quick test drive and um, when we get back um, we're gonna see if we still have that check engine light so you guys can see right there we have that check engine light so hopefully the car will learn that it doesn't have a misfire anymore um, but yeah so let me just clean up and see if that thing goes away. All right, guys. So I was actually about to go for a quick little test drive, but it looks like the light is officially gone right there, as you can see. Pretty stoked. I imagine that was the issue. I am going to replace all the coil packs, but I wanted to get upgraded ones. And uh, the ones that I wanted weren't available, but I, I wanted my car running um, ASAP. So this is the solution I had for now. And I don't want to go all out if I'm not, it's not, not a performance part. So, um, anyways, the car is running pretty freaking good. Issue is fixed now. Um, so what do you think, Lulis, how hard was it to fix a misfire on a Challenger? It was, it's pretty easy. Yeah. I was going to think I always say it's easy. Yeah, uh, no, right? <laughs> it was fairly easy though, right? I think yeah. that's, that's, uh, this is my second time. I think my first time was on an S2000, um, having a misfire. But then on, on this Challenger, um, I assume it was just going to be the coil pack, but might as well. I don't know when was the last time it, uh, the spark plugs got changed. So it was, um, you know, a good idea to do it now. Um, like I was saying earlier, I am planning on getting MSD um, coil packs later on. And the reason I went with like the O'Reilly's version was because I wanted this car running ASAP. And I didn't want to wait, um, you know, for them to ship it and all that and not have a car in the meantime. Uh, on a scale from 1 to 10, what would you say? Like uh, difficulty being 10. Difficulty? Uh, difficulty, the torque is a difficult part. That one would be a 10. Yeah. And like then, torque it all down. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty scary because you don't want to, you want to make sure your spark plugs are seated just right and not over torqued because if you do, first of all, they're going to be a pain in, in the butt to remove them later. Like, you know, 30,000 miles from another might be a pain. And then you also don't want to strip the spark plug. Um, you know threads on there 
Um, that did happen to me on my S2000, which is why I was ter like I'm terrified of this job. But like this car made it super easy to work on. Uh, I think tomorrow we're gonna try to knock out the water pump, which we didn't do on this video. Um, but we're gonna try to knock it out tomorrow also, and I'm gonna show Lulis how to do that too. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, this was how to or teaching my girlfriend how to do spark plugs on a Challenger RT. Peace.